Tracy, her cuddly kid Montana and Buddy, and her soon-to-be husband, fiance Jeff. Together they will soon become the Lewis family. Say hello to Sandra, her beautiful twins Ashley and Hillary, and her husband Larry. Stick them all in a Cuisinart and they puree down to the Sirota family. When you hear what these families have to say, you'll want to shout. And now here's your host and referee, Mr. John Sally. Welcome to the show, where families reveal the innermost secrets. We're going to see how well they really know each other and how well the answers match. But one thing for sure, one of these wonderful families is going on a great vacation. Where to, Mark? It's a fun-filled family vacation to the city by the bay, San Francisco. <laughs> All right, let's say hello to the Lewis family. How you guys doing? All right. Well, hey, before the show, we separated each family member. We asked them a whole bunch of questions about each other. Now we're going to see how well the answers match. Each correct match is worth 10 points. We're going to start with you, Tracy, in the first four. Tracy, your son Buddy told us you mostly drive him to school, to the mall, crazy. Definitely would be crazy. Crazy, that's right, 10 points. 10 points for the Lewis family. Are you one of those nagging mothers? No. No? How'd she drive you crazy, Buddy? Hey. Yeah, just so many <laughs> things. Happens. Just happens. Just huh? happens, Buddy, 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 buddy. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Montana. Hi. That's a really nice name. I like that. Montana, your mom, Tracy, said you listen to her always, sometimes, not even if she stood in front of you on the television. <laughs> sometimes. That's right, sometimes. Another 10 points, 20 points for the Lewis family. You should listen to her all the time. I mean, look, this is so much knowledge in front of you. Wow. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. Don't get nervous, man. Okay. <laughs> Don't get nervous. Buddy, Jeff said you lend your toys to your sister all the time, sometimes only if he forces you to. Mmm. <laughs> All the time, sometime, only if he forces you to. Probably sometimes. No, nah, he said only if he forces you to. <laughs> only, only when you're done playing with them. <laughs> you don't share with your sister? That's not true. He is, <laughs> doesn't know me. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> I haven't seen that side of you yet. Maybe. Yeah, he, he doesn't know me yet. All right, hey, Jeff. Hey, what's going on? All right, Jeff. Your fiance son, Buddy, said his bedtime is reasonable, the same as other kids today, totally unfair. Um, I'll go middle of the road. Reasonable. Reasonable, that's what he said. <laughs> what time do you go to bed? Anywhere from 8.30 to 10 o'clock, probably. How old are you? No. 11. 11, good. I hope my daughter doesn't watch. She has to be in bed by 9, 9, 15, if I know. Right. Well, anyway, congratulations to the Lewis family. They have 30 points. Now we're going to go meet the Sirota family. How you guys doing? Good. Okay. Hi, son. Hi, girl. Hi. All right. I want twins so bad. It's so much easier, right? As they get older. Oh. It's Babies hard are to tough. Know. Babies are oh. tough. The first years are real tough. They want mommy only, not daddy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, man, that'd be so cool. <laughs> For my daddy. My daughter, daddy, 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 daddy. I would love for that to be the other way. Okay, son, we're going to start with you. Okay. Your husband, Larry, told us if he could change one thing about you, it would be your hair, your clothes, your parents. My parents. No, he said he would change your clothes. We are getting ready this morning, and she didn't even have a dress to her. Her dress is shrunk. And she always tells you she wants more clothes. All she says, I want more clothes. I want more clothes. I need new clothes for work, new clothes for summer. Oh, wow. Well. Well, if he wanted to change it, he can change it, right? right. Just give you a whole bunch of money, there you go. send you to the Beverly Center, <laughs> send you down Rodeo one time, That's he will right. not, he'll That's change right. everything else. Okay, hi, Ashley. Hi. Okay, Ashley, your dad Larry said, as far as camping goes, you love it, like it, despise it. Like it. You like it, that's what he said. 
That's 10 points for the Zerota family. What do you like about camping? Well, we never go camping, so she goes with the Girl Scouts occasionally, but I've never been yeah. camping with her yet. But she keeps telling me she wants to go camping. Yeah. Oh, do you like that stuff? Mm -hmm. I'm a city kid. I have to have the Plaza Hotel, a couple of dormants. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a couple of people I can nag, you know. I had to pay a dollar for a phone call. That's me. All right, <laughs> All right Hillary, how you doing? Good. Okay. Hillary, your sister Ashley said the best part about being a twin is sharing clothes, sharing toys, sharing the blame. <laughs> sharing the blame. No, she said sharing toys. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Yeah. How old are you, girl? Almost nine. Almost nine. So you can, you just have to buy one toy, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, I wish. Well, one yeah. for each. Two different kinds of toys. And then we go share them. And they share them. They share oh. great. Really? But they need two toys. So you can, like, buy a toy and break it in half. <laughs> they just themselves and that teach one them yet. how to put it together. Hey, see, I'm giving you all this new stuff. All right. Thank you. All right, Larry. Here your wife, Sandra, said, with your appetite, you could eat a sandwich, eat a whole pizza, eat more than Godzilla at a buffet. <laughs> Try eat more than Godzilla at a buffet. No, she said you can eat a sandwich. I was trying to be nice to you. You were trying to be nice. So that you were not a I got a huge appetite. <laughs> <laughs> a big appetite, huh? Okay, well, hey, we have the Sirota family with 10 and the Lewis family with 30. And when we come back, we're going to hear some incredible stories about these families. So stick around. Come on, guys. Time for more fun on Fox Family Channel with your host, John Shelley. Welcome back. We have the Sirota family with 10 points and the Lewis family with 30. We're going to get into some juicy stories in just a second, and our winning family is going to go on a great vacation. But win or lose, all today's kids are going to take home this cool prize. Mark? It's a mini vacation to Catalina, as a matter of fact, John. It's the Catalina Passenger Service, and it will have you smooth sailing on the Catalina Flyer from Newport Beach to beautiful Catalina. An unforgettable adventure from Catalina Passenger Service on the Catalina Flyer. Back to you, sir. Well, thank you, Mark. In this round, we're looking for the dirt. We found out some family secrets. <laughs> now it's up to you guys to tell it all. Once again, 10 points, every correct answer. This time, we're going to start with the Sirota family. Woo! Woo! Okay, Sandra. Your daughter, Hillary, told us you got caught in a rather sticky situation once. We're going to show the audience what Hillary said. <laughs> Ooh, Sandra, what did Hillary tell us happened? Recently, we went on vacation as a family, and the hotel had these great little toiletry items, particularly this great soap that I really liked. <laughs> so I would proceed to try to find vacant maid cards that I thought were vacant till I went to get something out of it, and the maid was right there asking me. <laughs> oh, no. this is it. Oh. But thank you for telling us that. What hotel was that? that well, they won't want us back. Yeah, so I, I know. Not say. Come on, Hillary, tell us the story. Um, when you remember when you were little and um, and your dad um, told you to stick your tongue on an ice cube tray and you oh, did it. You're right. And, um, <laughs> and all Aunt Lisa did was laugh. That's oh. right. That was with the metal ice cube trays right. in those days, way back when. And so you look like the guy in Dumb Dumber. You're just walking around with an ice tray on That's right. <laughs> For a few minutes. <laughs> All right. Okay. On, We're going to start over here now with Tracy <laughs> and the Lewis family. All right, Tracy. Your son Buddy told us you did something sneaky to get what you really wanted. We're going to show the audience how sneaky you were, Tracy. Oh. Mm. Tracy, what did Buddy tell us? That was a tough one. Um... Sometimes when we go to the movie theaters and we use these movie passes to get into the movies, it's not good for new releases, and sometimes we'll go in to get a ticket for that other movie and then go into the new release, like uh, when Titanic came out, we got tickets to go into the movie next to it, and then I kept getting out and checking to make sure that it was time to go into Titanic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, ten points. So, really, Titanic has made $1,008,000. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Okay, Ashley. Your mom told us you once had a chewing problem that affected your vision. We're going to show the audience 
what your chewing problem was. Oh. Okay, Ashley, what did Mom tell us? Sometimes I chew my mouth open during every meal, and so, <laughs> then, so then, she ha then she yells at me and says, Stop chewing with your mouth open. Mm. Your mouth has to be real big to get in the way of your vision. Actually, she's true that too, but she used to chew her nose pads on her glasses. She would oh, take really? them off at school and chew them, and, but we've been cured of that problem. Between the eye doctor and everything else. Okay, we'll come back over here to the Lewis family. <laughs> Montana, like you're in trouble. You're not in trouble. This is the fun show. Montana, your mom told us that you once gave her a real scare. We're going to show the audience how you scared your mom. <laughs> this is good. Montana, what did your mom tell us? My mom told you that once when I was at the playground with my friends, um, there was uh, wood chips on the ground, and I put it all over me, and then I pretended like I was hurt. And she said, what's the matter? Are you okay? Mm. No, but you'd be a great makeup artist for a scary movie. <laughs> okay, Mom, tell us what Montana did. Do you remember on the 4th of July when you went to go visit your aunt, my baby sister, in New York City? Oh, my God. And <laughs> you got off the airplane, and Jeff and I were there to catch you, and you came off with blue hair and an earring in your nose and your belly button pierced, or so we thought. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Montana? Eight. Eight. Oh, yeah, you would have got in a lot of trouble in my house. All right. The Sirota family with 10 points and the Lewis family with 40. And when we return, we're going to continue to find and discover out more secrets about these families. Stay tuned. More fun coming your way, but first, today's runner-up family will be going home with Panasonic's 13-inch color TV with built-in VCR, a big solution for small spaces. Its swivel base makes it great for kitchen counters from Panasonic, just slightly ahead of our time. And here's a guy who's slightly ahead of his time, our host, John Sally. Thanks, Mark, and welcome back. We have the Sirota family with 10 points, yeah! and we have the Lewis family with 40 points. Yeah! This time, let's start with the Lewis family, okay. Buddy, my man, Buddy. <laughs> Buddy, your mom told us something you did gave her a real scare in the middle of the night. We're going to show the audience how you scared your mama in the middle of the night. <laughs> okay, Buddy, what did your mom tell us? Okay, I think she told him, well, I'm a sleepwalker and I... You're a what? Sleepwalker, and I okay. sleepwalk out my front door one time. And the neighbor reported a prowler and called the cops. And I left the door open, and my mom heard the cops talking to her, and she got very afraid and told me in the morning. That's right. <laughs> Hillary, Hillary, your mom told us that she secretly takes something from you. We're going to show the audience how sneaky mom can be. Come on, put your head up, Sam. <laughs> okay, Hillary, what did your mom tell us? Um, she takes my finger away from me because when I chew my nails, um, she wants to take it away from me so I don't buy my nails anymore. You should get some food put in the refrigerator I, somewhere. I that. should. <laughs> but what I do secretly take on occasions, and Daddy has helped me with this, sometimes if he's running out the door and he needs a couple dollars to get him through the day, we'll just kind of get it out of her, her wallet. And, but pay her back when she gets up and she gets interest. They get interest yeah. to go along with it. Mm -hmm. so. What kind of job does Hillary have? Allowance. Oh, you take back the allowance. allowance. But then she gets paid with her interest, so she actually makes up. All right, <laughs> All right Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, don't be nervous. Man. I wouldn't make it. Jeff, Buddy told us you once really surprised his mom. We're going to show the audience how you surprise wonderful Tracy here. Oh. oh. Okay, Jeff, what did Buddy tell us? Um... I'll have to go with the, uh, the time that, um, well, Trace and I enjoy playing Scrabble. And uh, there, this was before, um, uh, this was actually the time when I proposed to her. And I decided to do so by uh, kind of stealing some tiles along the side. And whenever I asked her to go 
make um, some uh, ice cream for me in the, in the kitchen, um, I placed down the tile strategically onto the board that said, Marry Me, Tracy. Oh. <laughs> that is so sweet. Maybe I get some points somewhere else. It's kind of cowardly, because if she would have said no, then you would say, I was just joking. I understand how you do that. No, buddy, how did you surprise Mom? Sorry, Jeff, but it was when... You, when I first moved into our neighborhood, you owned me a hockey stick. And my mom wanted to meet this Jeff guy I was playing with. And now it turns out you're going to be our stepfather. And so that was how you really surprised my mom. From <laughs> being some Jeff guy to her honey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back over to the Sirota family. Larry, this is the last question this round. Larry, your wife Sandra told us that when you were younger, your mom had an interesting method of getting you to go to sleep. We're going to show the audience how very creative your mom. <laughs> okay, what story did Sandra tell us? This one would be real easy. I wouldn't go to sleep. I must have been four years old. I would not go to sleep. My mom said, if you don't go to sleep, I'm taking you to the police station. And she stuck me in the car and she drove me to the police station and she took me in there and she had the police officer put me inside of a cell. And I promised from then on I would go to sleep whenever she asked me. It was scary. Okay. You remember a little while ago they had that show Scared Straight when they would take kids in? She scared you straight to sleep. All right. The Sorota family with 20 points and Lewis with 50. And when we come back, one of these families will win a fabulous vacation. Stick around. It's time to give away a cool trip, and here's the man to do it, John Sally. Welcome back. In just a couple of minutes, one of these families will be headed home, and the other one will be off to a fantastic family vacation. Mark, tell us more about it. I sure will. It's a trip to San Francisco. You'll be staying at Double Tree Hotel San Francisco overlooking the bay in just minutes from the airport. Luxurious accommodations and ideally situated. Perfect for business or pleasure from Double Tree Hotel San Francisco, but that's not all. A four-piece luggage set from Travel Pro, the original rollerboard luggage used by airline crew members worldwide, designed and tested by airline professionals. Enjoy the unsurpassed quality innovation and travel ease from Travel Pro. Good luck. Well, this is how it works. I ask a series of questions to each family. The more they match, the more they score. Right now, we have the Sirota family with 20 points and the Lewis family with 50. So, let's begin with the Sirota family since they're behind. Each correct answer this time is worth 25 points. So, put 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck. According to Larry, in what city was he born? Los Angeles. Correct. Tell me what Hillary said is her favorite sport. Soccer. All right. What did Ashley tell her, us is her favorite animal? Dog. No monkey. According to Sandra, what is her occupation? She's a secretary. Correct. When did Larry say is your wedding anniversary? June 22nd, 1980. Okay. Tell me which holiday Hillary says she likes the most. Uh, um, Hanukkah. No, nah, her birthday. <laughs> what did Ashley say is her favorite music group? Uh, back to work. No, nah, Spice Girls. What color did Sandra say are her eyes? Hazel. All right. What did Larry say? Who did Larry say is the prettiest woman in the world? Me. All right. Tell me who Hillary says is her principal. Mrs. Lloyd. Okay. Name the subject in school Ashley told us is her best. Matt. Okay. Who did Sandra say is her first boyfriend? It was me, of course. Oh, nope. Bruce Preston. Mm. All right. Time is up. And the Sorota family is now in the lead with 220 points. <laughs> Lewis family, you guys up to the challenge? <laughs> okay, you now have 50 points. If you get seven correct answers, you guys are going on that beautiful trip. Okay? Put 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck. According to Jeff, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Six. Okay. According to Buddy, who is his favorite athlete? Um. Kobe Bryant. Name the teacher Montana says she likes the most. Mrs. Winter. All right. Who did Tracy say is her favorite male singer? Roger. Okay. According to Jeff, what other language does he speak? Spanish. 
McDermott. Who did Buddy say is his best friend? Uh, Frankie? No, Spencer Bates. According to Montana, when is her birthday? May 3rd. All right. What did Tracy say is her favorite department store? Uh, Walmart. Okay. According to Jeff, in what city was his first child born? Birmingham. Okay. Tell me what Buddy says is his favorite sport. Basketball. Well, skateboarding. According to Montana, what is her favorite subject in school? Spelling. Mm, no, nope, math. Mm. Where did Tracy say? Oh, okay. Time is up. Sorry, the Lewis family didn't win. But the Zerota family goes to San Francisco. And you guys do get a wonderful TV and VCI. And all the kids are going to Catalina. Be careful what you say in front of your family. You never know. You might end up on this show saying, I can't believe you said that. Thanks. See you later. America Online is the internet. Email. Instant messages. AOL now offers more benefits than ever before. If I can do it, anyone can. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. For all your travel needs, contact Travel Savers at www.travelsavers.com or the World Wide Web or call 1-800-726-8 for the Travel Savers Agency nearest you. Travel Saver. California Pizza Kitchen innovative pizza from barbecue chicken to BLT also features appetizers, specialty pastas, sandwiches, salads, and delicious desserts served in a casual contemporary atmosphere from California Pizza Kitchen. I can't I can't believe you said that is a Stone Stanley production.